Hello everybody, my name is Ron McCulloch and I'm a consultant podiatric surgeon specialising in the condition of Morton's neuroma and as many of you will know by now, um, we have a very specialist centre that deals with this condition. One of the services that we offer is ablative radio frequency and patients will often ask for how uh, successful is this compared to some of our other treatments such as cryosurgery. My approach at present, and things can change, is to exhaust conservative care and to then move on to uh, steroid injections sometimes, particularly if there's florid bursitis, but usually um, cryosurgery. Now, um, at the moment, our, our process is that uh, if cryosurgery is unsuccessful, then we will potentially move on to radio frequency, what's called ablative radio frequency, which fundamentally involves inserting a hot needle into the, the patient's foot and under ultrasound guidance, just gently tweaking through a section of the nerve to remove the pain. Now, at present, this is done if cryosurgery is not successful. And the reason for that is that it's more destructive. With cryosurgery, there is uh, generally a tendency for the nerve to be preserved, whereas with radiofrequency, you will burn through a section of the nerve with the potential for that not to recover. And that's the fundamental difference. And obviously, if it's possible to save a nerve, why would you not wish to? So this is the reason why radio frequency is kept as a second option. Now, what I would say is that when we perform radio frequency, we have good success rates. And bear in mind, these are cases where cryosurgery hasn't been successful. So one could argue that potentially it may be even more successful than um, cryosurgery. But the reason why we don't offer is number one, because I think the risk of complication is somewhat greater because you're burning through a nerve and I don't think we can discount the possibility of developing something like a stump neuroma, which could be a significant issue. There's also a bit more pain and it is ultimately a more destructive procedure.